Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. Don Jr. is apparently running scared now that we're past the midterms and Mueller might be coming forward with something, assuming that the new acting AG doesn't cut the entire thing down to size before it happened. He is apparently a little bit worried about being indicted. Um, two days ago, Gabriel Sherman uh, reported that White House officials are concerned about Don Jr. Uh, one White House official said, I'm very worried about Don Jr. They fear that Mueller is going to be able to prove perjury in relation to the, uh, the Trump Tower thing. And uh, deep in a report about Trump's 2020 campaign plans, Politico drops the news this morning that Trump Jr. has told friends in recent weeks that he believes he could be indicted. Because he did wrong. Yeah, so, so what is this about? I mean, theoretically, it could be about a lot of things. But what it seems most likely is he had the Trump Tower meeting and he said under oath multiple times, I didn't tell Donald Trump about it. Which, look, hey, family loyalty, that's great that you're trying to protect your father. Um, that doesn't make any sense. There's no way that that's actually true. And whether you believe me or not, apparently the belief is that the Mueller team has now been able to prove that that is not true. So he perjured himself, and so there's the possibility of an indictment. And he's doing, and this is what's so like epically sad about it, is he's doing an impression of his father the whole time, mm -hmm. saying whatever he wants to be true, believing he's above the law. But really, the only person with the highest chance of being above the law is. Donald Trump because he is currently president. Yeah. And constitutionally, it shakes down to that. Yeah. But it is going to be so sad. I mean, it might potentially be so sad when by doing an impression of his father, he mm -hmm. ends up indicted. Yeah, but what's interesting is that at the same time that as you say, he's sort of this is coming about as a result of him being more like his father. If the news coming out of the White House is true, that you know sources are saying that he is worried about this, that does show sort of a grasp on reality that his father doesn't actually match. Donald Trump seems so oblivious to what's going on, but Don Jr. apparently gets, I lied, they might have discovered it. If they did, I'm in legal trouble. Hey, he dwells in a reality-based world at least once or twice and not on Twitter. Yeah, but I, I don't know specifically what happens with Donald Trump behind the scenes. And I've seen reports where he is frustrated and angry, but yes, I it is potential. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's we're gonna have a little bit of that in just a minute, actually. Yeah, but okay. we'll have to see with Don Jr. if you know Mueller does actually have something if he comes forward with it. If it's not destroyed, that is obviously the plan that is in action today. We're gonna be talking about that a little bit later on. They are trying to shut this down. If so, that would be a good day for Don Jr. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. If you watched yesterday's press conference with Donald Trump, this is a guy who is claiming victory in the midterms and talking about how everything is great. Except that everything in his body language and the way he was interacting with those reporters shows this is dark Donald Trump. This is dark days for Donald Trump. Um, and that's not just coming from progressives. Conservative columnist Jennifer Rubin said, welcome to an even worse version of Trump, defensive, cornered, possibly looking at indictments of more aides or family members. Democrats must hold him and his enablers accountable, understanding that in all likelihood they're building a case to vote him and his GOP lackeys out in 2020. And so to some extent, look, if he's brawling with the media in a press conference, that's not really all that different. But his social media activity, his tweets since the election, they look to me like a guy who is scared that things could be developing fast in some of the areas he's most worried about. Yes, I mean, he has, okay, so we have Jeff Sessions out. Mm -hmm. There was a time before when Jeff Sessions went out and the replacement was appointed. Mm -hmm. And that appointment was Rob Rosenstein to oversee the Mueller investigation. So we have a precedent for what happens when there's no Jeff Sessions, essentially. Mm -hmm. In this situation, Trump did not assign Rob Rosenstein to take yeah, over as acting attorney general. They passed him over to a chief of staff mm -hmm. who is on record as saying that uh, I don't think the Mueller investigation is allowed to go past whatever red line. Literally, in this case, um, I guess it's figurative. I get it. But yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Yeah, and we're gonna get more details on that guy in, in the next thing. But, okay. Dude, but yeah, I think that Don, Don Trump, Donald Trump, he's like his son now. He's a, the grown up version of his son. Um, I do think that he should be worried. Look, maybe not even primarily about the Mueller stuff, but this is a guy who loves control. He doesn't like when things are difficult. And so, legislatively going forward, he has these plans for tax cuts and attacking Social Security and Obamacare, all of these things. That has just become a whole lot more difficult. This is not a guy who has any interest or talent in reaching across the aisle and working with people. Maybe we'll see that, but I don't think he's expecting that that will be easy. And that means that suddenly this job, which has been relatively easy with unified government, looks a little bit more difficult this week. 
It okay. wasn't easy with unified government. He only got his tax cut passed and mm -hmm. judges. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.